What up, bikes? I'm Savannah. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. It is FFA week. There will be two red tractors, pictures hidden around the school. If you find one, please return it to Van Gordon's room in W11 for a free meat stick. Seniors, if you are looking for scholarship opportunities, check Schoology and your Class of 2021 page. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will be increasing traffic enforcement efforts around the Shawnee County area high schools as part of the SAFE program. The enforcement phase will be February 22nd through March 5th. Officers will be focusing on efforts on seatbelt compliance. This week is the final week for internship applications. The link is posted on Schoology. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Noble. Student-led parent-teacher conferences are this week. After spring break, you may be seeing more people around the building. Recently, the news has been announced that Seaman Middle School and Seaman High School students will be returning to school five days a week in person starting after spring break. We went to interview some students to get their thoughts and opinions on returning back to school full time. What do you think about us uh, going back full time after spring break? I think it's a really rushed and irresponsible idea. People already don't wear their masks right and we have trouble social distancing already. Other schools aren't opening up yet fully. Hayden has 800 kids less than us and only go four days a week. Uh, students aren't able to get vaccinated yet and we're the ones who are like interacting together most. Uh, they sent us home last March when our numbers were a lot lower than they are now and then there's going to be more cases after spring break. I feel it'll be more beneficial for me and other students to learn. What do you think about us losing our Web Wednesday days after spring break? I think it's a bad idea because the Wednesdays gives, gives us a chance to catch up on work and like clean the school in between the two groups that we have. Uh, I don't like it because it feels a good day for kids to catch up on late work and do homework that was due for that week. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Personally, I have a mixed opinion on coming back to school five days a week. Make sure to continue to be safe and wear your mask. Now, back to your anchors. Make sure you are still taking the right precautions to stay safe. If you are interested in joining the Writing Center, please fill out the virtual application on Schoology by March 3rd. Contact Ms. Sands if you have any questions. Here are sports announcements. SVTV sports directors are asking you to select an S. Seaman High School Athlete of the Week. Please cast your vote on Schoology. There will be an informational meeting for students interested in participating in track and field Tuesday during CLP in, at 1.15 in the East Commons. If you are interested in trying out for cheer on March 20th, see Schoology for more information. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Geis. There will be a meeting and sign up for anyone interested in playing baseball on Monday, February 22nd in the Commons. Tomorrow's snowball theme is Jersey Day. Now over to Zoe with weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. As I'm sure many of you have noticed, our temperatures have continued to climb and we are finally starting to see some of these warmer temperatures. Today is going to be fairly warm with our temperatures being up into the higher 50s area. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, we're going to be up in the 60s tomorrow, which is going to be the warmest we're going to be for quite a while before we level back out into the 40s and then we reach the temperatures of the 50s for another little short stretch. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Zoe. That's all we have for today, right? Have a magnificent Monday. Mm -hmm.